it looks like it's going to storm, but I don't care. I decided to go outside. It's about 8 o'clock and play a game of pit tonk. Well, I kind of changed the rules up myself, but anybody wants some, they can get some. Because I'm no longer the Pete Tonk champion. <laughs> I'm just kidding. So basically what I do is I use these ringers. And I put them down in the ground. When it's kind of the day after rain, you can really get away with this stuff. And all I do is I have different weighted balls. That's right. Black balls, balls, black balls, films. They nah, weighted balls. And what I do is I try to get as close as I can to the ringer so before I start I just make the rule and I'm gonna to try to get as close as I can to that ringer so let's see if I can get the ringer where's it at there it is so let's see huh oh, too far but today it's just one of them days it's not raining yet but i only live right up the street from here so i'm gonna play this for a little while and enjoy the weather it's a little hot and balmy but the wind is blowing so i'll take it for right now all right let me get going before it start raining yeah i'm gonna walk around and then i'm gonna take some pictures after i walk around there's always lots of good stuff down here not every time somebody might come down, they might say something about deals. The deals are here, you just gotta come get them. Hey, good morning, good morning. How you guys doing? We're right here. Hey, that's why I said I woke up. <laughs> I'm gonna walk around and I'm gonna look for some deals myself. Any wooden beads? Nope, okay, I'll check back. There's always some good deals down here. Any more? What's going on, man? Any more of those uh, pizza combos? Is there any left in there? Cause no, no pizza. All right, so you come across some more. I will. I already got the instructions. Right, She's like, right. don't even play. You All better right. go down there and ask. <laughs> <laughs> See you guys later. It's always good stuff down here to sell. Socket Wagner's hats, good stuff. And he always got a bunch of stuff. All right, I'm doing pics now. Uh, sorry for the darkness, but I got all the shades closed because how hot it is. Well, today is the day. I'm going to take this thing outside. Unfortunately, I'm not going to do the USS Galileo. I'm going to do it black and I'm going to um, decal it. I think this one I'm going to do as a Yakima. I'm gonna call it something like a, Yax a Yakima X52 or something. I say I never knew Yakima made that. I'm like, yeah, it did. That's one thing I like doing is repurposing these things, just because. And I don't think I'm gonna get another one for a while because they take up too much space. Uh, here's the other one. Um, this one came off of a motorcycle. I haven't really done nothing with it. Opens up, inside container. I haven't even peeled the sticker off here, which I, I mean the uh, the tape off which I should have been did, but I just haven't did it. But um, I'm gonna decal this one up too. This one probably gonna go inside the Mini Commander somehow. If not, I'll put it up one day and repurpose it when I'm ready. I don't think I'm gonna sell this one. I just like it as a weird item to keep, but I'm heading outside for a little while to bake. Now it's just like a, a hot wind blowing. <laughs> All right, I'm about to paint this day black. I just want to do that. It's like. A hot wind is blowing, so I'm gonna do it black. So to get a picture of it, it's gonna be a before and after. Well, this thing doesn't look half bad black. I'm still finishing it, and I'm gonna repurpose it. I'm gonna put some decals on it. Still gotta spray the back and you know let that dry. But this thing doesn't look bad black. It really doesn't. And I just kind of repurposed it. Like I said, I, if I get these. You know, I got little spots I got to hit like right up in here. I can see that. I didn't see that before, but hit that with a little black. Hit that with some black. I'm using the last of what I have on this. And I got a one whole fresh bottle to do all touch-ups. But I think this thing's going to look nice. I'm going to put a big, massive decal 
right across here. I think I'm going to put ya uh, probably Yakima. I'm going to find something that looks really cool. Oh, wow. I'm more impressed at how it came out. You know, some black paint goes a long way on these things. The spots down there that I see, like right there. And you can't beat it. Not for, you know, what I got it for. All right. Well, I'm going to finish it off and I'll get back to you. All right. So I don't think it came out bad. This is the only part I hate because it's spray paint and it, you can see the lines in it. But um, I think I may get some actual roller black paint and roll that if I decide to, if I get a hair up my ass. But for right now, I think it looks good. I'm going to take it off the car, set it up and see if I can spray that a little more because I had a tiny bit left and touch up any of the spots. But that's it. I don't think this thing looks half bad. Um, hold on. I don't think it looked half bad black. So I don't know. I'm debating where I'm going to put a couple words at on it. And again, it's going to just have Yakima on it. I'll probably put like Yakima on the front and then put it, little tidy letters around it or something. And then, you know, repurpose car carriers. Uh, <laughs> uh, I don't know. Because I, I repurpose these things. I might just put on the back, repurpose car carrier. And you can see where the little snail thing was at. But I was going to do the USS... Um, Galileo, but I just seemed like I couldn't get the time to do it all together the way I wanted to, but I've seen these before. So I'm just going to mess around with this. I think I have a friend who actually may want this. And like I said, the other one I've done is in the hallway and that one is, that one is finished. Let me see. I don't think I've actually showed much video on that one. I think, uh, got a set of wheels. That I do next. That's the other one I repurposed. Uh, painted it light gray and put the word Thule all the way around it. Uh, Jacob, my buddy Jacob's gonna take this one. And then my next project are those wheels. I'm gonna be stripping those down and painting them probably like a really neat gun metal and then giving those back to my buddy. So again, you see it. I don't think it looks bad. I was going to do it a gloss, but I think the flat looks wild because it makes it look really wild, especially with the ridges. <laughs> it does look like a snail. All right, guys. I didn't do much because it was just so hot today, but I'm going to let this thing dry, and then I'm going to actually put some decals on it, some small ones, and probably, you don't know. I don't know yet. I have to figure it out. I may just paint it black and text my per you know, the person say, hey, I got one of these in black and just sell it off. Who knows? All right. So all in all, um, I don't think it came out too bad. I think it looks pretty decent. I told you the only thing I don't like is this. It was really hard to paint this and you can, you can almost see, don't know why my phone stopped, but you can see the direction of the paint. That's why I said I might just put a big decal right across the front, you know, to try to get up off of that, but I don't know. We shall see. All right, guys. Like I said, it's nice out. I still wanted to make a huge Thule on my car. I wanted to make a big one, like, big enough for the door. Snatch that one off and make one to go down to the door, like, super huge, or make it go across. But I don't know. I ain't in the market for another car right now. I got another Civic sitting right now. Uh, I got to do a head job, and I'm going to cut that one into a ute. Uh, this one's still going. Uh, I found a place for my... I, I had this on my first fake, well, I don't want to say fake, homemade roof uh, basket, I guess, I made. And I'm actually looking to get one of those now, just to have. All right, guys, I'm going back upstairs. It's hot. I did what I had to do. I don't know if I'm going to let this one sit in the car and dry or take it upstairs. It's going to smell the place up. I know my wife's going to be like, that thing smells like paint. Like, yeah, I just painted it. She'll be like... Well, take it outside and sleep in it. <laughs> That's what she would do. <laughs> All right, guys. Ah. It's been a wonderful week. It's just been hot. Um, I'm going on next year, next week. I'm going on a no complain campaign. And then I have to make some more um, uh, mud flaps. Unfortunately, that one's a little crooked. So I had to put it up in there and I'm, I'm going to have to figure out that configuration on this one. I don't think I'm going to have that same problem because 
this one actually has flaps on the back so I think I'll be able to get away with hanging them down and I'm gonna make some uh, oversized flaps and I need to make something for the back of this one I gotta do the back uh, haven't figured it out yet gotta make a couple other things like I want to make a little decal for this thing right across there uh, I'm probably gonna do Wish and then uh, Bosu America across the back. Like Bosu America on YouTube. Ah, <sighs> that's it for me. Yeah, I think I might make that tonight. Stay up super late. I do gotta pick up some um, clothes and some other stuff. And uh, that's probably it. All right guys, sorry I'm lagging. <laughs> I'm so laggish. I'm done for the day. I'm gonna put everything up, go upstairs. And actually um, start making decals for this one. Then I'll let you see what it looks like once it is finished. All right, guys. If you ain't out here building for yourself, why the hell are you even trying? <laughs> That's one thing I'll say. I love just messing with cars. And um, the goal is to get to the country. If I could just get my wife to move. And sometimes I'd be want, wanting something traumatic to happen. She'd be like, I want to get out the motherfucking city. And she just loved living in the city. So stuck for now but not for long. All right, guys, I'm out.